If you just logged in to your web mall for the first time, you will see this welcome screen. To get started, simply click on the Add Project button to create your first project. This is in general how Webmo works. If you want to add anything, simply click on the Add button, fill in the information, and then click on Save. So now you can enter your project information. All the fields marked with a red asterisk are mandatory. When you're done entering your data, click on Save. If you want to update, modify, or add anything to your project, just click on the Edit button located at the top right of your screen. And when you're done, click on Save. So now you have created your first project. The blue tabs on top help you to navigate through your project. The first tab is a project sheet. This tab displays the general information of your project, such as location, project objective, project description, and the key data of your project. On the progress sheet, you can see the progress of your project. Here, no actions from your side are required. The first donut chart shows the progress of your project based on the average progress of the objective indicators. The second chart shows a project based on your own estimation. This is because the achievements of the objective indicators can take some time. But of course, you are doing progress in the meantime. So here you can assess the progress based on the implementation status of your activities, outputs, and outcomes. If you click on Edit on the project sheet, you can evaluate the progress by navigating on the Progress tab in the Project form. Below, the last part, you can see the elements of your log frame clustered by outcomes, outputs, activities, and indicators. To create or update your log frame, just click on the next tab. On the log frame tab, you can add all the elements of your log frame. Begin by adding objective indicators or outcomes. After adding an outcome, you can attach indicators and outputs to it. On the output level, you can attach activities and indicators to it. All the details and the different indicator types that Webmo offers is part of a separate video focusing on the log frame. For further details, check out our help section. On the activity tab, you can see all the uh, activities in a timeline. For further information, click on any activity to see its details. Under the Reporting tab, you can download your log frame as a Word file or all your data as CSV files, which can be then opened in Excel. You could also download your information as JSON files. On the Maintenance tab, you can see if certain data is missing in your log frame or if all the sheets are filled out and if they are up to date. Basically, this part help you to maintain an updated monitoring system. 
In Webo, you can attach documents to indicators, outcomes, outputs, and activities. But you can also upload documents directly on this section and assign them to the relevant elements of the log frame. However, Webmo is not a document management system like, for example, Dropbox, but it can handle documents as well. You may have heard that Webmo is based on the open source software from Wikipedia. This means that with Webmo, you have a fully functional wiki for collaboration tasks. Please check out our wiki video to learn how you and your team can benefit from working on a wiki or simply Google what a wiki is and what you can do with it. This was a quick run through Webmo. Check out the help section if you need further support. I hope you enjoy Webmo and that it supports your great work. Thank you for watching.